to another commentary done by Diggity in the upper right corner we have Art of Turtle almost wasn't able to spit that out Art of Turtle starting as the yellow Zerg bottom left hand corner we have Jedi One starting as the green Protoss this is going to be on Metaverse and it is game three of the winner's match from Hasu League round 16 group B part of BSL season 14 if you guys have not already checked it out I also was able to cast a lot of the matches of the Pro League with Nyogen, which was absolutely fantastic. And I think some of the best casting I have ever done is part of the semifinals there. At least the matches were incredible. I felt like a lot of it was on point, and that was DeWalt versus John Hoon. And also check out the other semifinal matches of Mihu versus... They were just all great games. Mihu versus... Why am I blanking all of a sudden? Ah, Ziki. Mihu versus Ziki. And the finals were pretty intense as well. Really, I feel like the semifinals up of this season of Pro League from BSL Season 14 was maybe the best semifinals and finals ever. All the matches were intense. It was incredible. Check it out. And I'm going to throw out an ay ay just because I feel like it right this second. For other reasons. Looks like we are seeing a gateway opener here from Jedi One. And uncharacteristically, Art of Turtle opening up with an overpool, wanting to play very, very cautious. Oftentimes, he will open up more with the 12-hatch play, particularly on four-player maps. So adjusting his play a little bit, potentially because of early shenanigans that Jedi One pulled out. This time, yeah, wanting to play a little bit more safe. Overlord's heading to the cell first. We also have this Overlord making to the upper left-hand corner as well. Probe Scout is moving counterclockwise for Jedi One. So he's going to end up coming across to Art of Turtle's base uh, second. But I don't think he's going to be in time to interrupt. Even with the overpool, oftentimes you can get that probe in the way and interrupt that base at the natural expansion. The probe shouldn't be in time, I believe, using my caster sense to see it. But he is going to be able to confirm the timing of the hatchery. That should give him an idea that he is going up against an overpool rather than a, uh, a different build. Which means he can sneak some things out. But it looks like he's going to go to one base play once again on a four-player map. So building an initial zealot wants to potentially box Art of Turtle out. Already has that assimilator warping in. And I'm wondering if it's going to be another one of those plus one zealot leg speed Corsair plays. It looks like the initial probe is being built and looks like just two Zerglings being built from Art of Turtle. And this is kind of a classic Art of Turtle move as well, where he wants to play a little bit lighter. Right now, unfortunately, he doesn't have the scout in the base, but it looks like he's moving out to grab a third hatchery. And really what would be more beneficial is grabbing his gas so that he can keep up with the tech that's coming out from Jedi One, potentially. Right now, looks like two Zealots gonna blockade that ramp. At the very least, that Zergling gonna be able to confirm that there's no, there's no natural expansion, there's no forge, there's nothing else. So it is gonna be one base play out of Jedi One. It looks like Jedi One, I'm not sure how to get rid of this on the mini, but you can see the on the mini map, or I guess this is the main map. The Zerg Zergling though, I didn't realize it's like, that's gonna be his official name from now on, Zerg Zergling. Has the one kill. Almost feels like it's Bob McBob or something like that. As far as one of those silly names. Probe wandering out with these three zealots. Already wiping out that. And now Art of Turtle. Did he save Larva? Did he even deal with this? Okay, it looks like he did save Larva. So he's got a lot of Zerglings produced. But three zealots are moving their way across. It doesn't look like he did plant a third hatchery down. Brought that drone back. He does have gas alongside here. Additional Zerglings being produced to go ahead and fend this off. As far as tech, go ahead and get rid of that. We do have the cybernetic squirt and a robotics facility being built. So it looks like Jedi One gonna go, he's like, okay, this build was a little bit silly and it worked previous, let's try it again. Gonna go one base robo. This time though, not opting for Corsair to start. Maybe to deal with a potential bust from Arter Turtle. Arter Turtle actually bring drones off the line, wants to kill these zealots, heads up. So the drones are actually getting in the fight as well, doing some damage across that edge. Two of them, nice little bit of micro Jedi One, bring some units back to get additional concavity, make sure one zealot wasn't picked off, but these drones now bullying. It's very rare to see drones chasing down a zealot. That should be sufficient, but this is a lot of Zerglings that have been produced from Art of Turtle. There are zealots and dragoons to defend on the front. And basically that should be additional units to go ahead and defend. Oops, not what I wanted. We're gonna pause. I'm gonna bring, hold on, this back up somewhere in here. This is gonna be one of those commentaries, but I'm just gonna roll with it. Is it down? I think down brings us back to the usual speed. There we go. Nope, we're gonna leave that in this time. 
Yeah, if you don't hit Control U and you just hit U, it speeds the game up for people who are wondering about the minimap thing. But anyway, now a forge being built. I actually need to learn what to get rid of the minimap because I'm not sure. I don't think there's a pylon in range. Yeah, nothing selected here. So the robotics facility is here. A shuttle's being built from Jedi 1. Jedi 1's build order this time looking a little bit more scattered. Two Zealots and a Dragoon are here on the front. The Zealots taking some damage. It looks like Arter Turtle really wanting to get up this ramp and see what's going on. No Overlord nearby to really confirm anything, but the Zergling's actually getting taken out. Not a, a real favorable exchange right there. Photon Cannon dropping. So Jedi 1 has this robotics facility. He is getting that shuttle. This is a very odd build order, I have to say. I don't think I've ever seen this. So the shuttle up is grabbing a probe of all things. Is he going to go for a cannon rush in the main? This might be dead on arrival, potentially. Or maybe he just wants to drop a probe on the low ground and try to sneak a cannon before, behind his own natural expansion. Third base going up. Spire is going to finish shortly. Mutalisks are going to be in the air. And if there are sufficient Mutalisks, Art of Turtle should be able to negate anything that a shuttle was able to produce. So, very odd play. This almost feels like a broken replay, but I don't think it is. The Zealot's testing that front doors. So, a single Zealot and a probe now migrating out. We will see what that's up to, but things looking very much in... I don't even know what to call this at this stage. Several mutals being produced. Arter Turtle still sitting at 18 drones, but right now he's about to get all forms of air control. There's still no cannons at the front. Speed's being upgraded. There were no Corsairs to help defend this. So basically, Jedi One's just hoping this doesn't get scouted. And I, he doesn't have enough... He doesn't have sufficient number of Dragoons to just not die here. So Probe and a Zealot... Okay, this is what he used dropping him down for. The Zealot's here to clear that power gener generator, so he's going to try to sneak in expansion. Unfortunately, with the Mutalisks out in there, he's just praying that this none of this gets scouted. And right now, that shuttle making its way to the south might be able to get some drone kills. But the game might end regardless because there's only two Dragoons to fend the rest of this off. There's no cannons in the main. Plus, the robotics facility's been spotted. And now the Mutalisks are just going to assail. This is one base, so there's no second base for Jedi 1 right now. So all of a sudden, the worker count... In Arter Turtle's favor, Arter Turtle, if he wants, can just engage these Dragoons. It looks like he's not opting to. That shuttle slowly making its way across. Shuttle speed not finished as of yet. Gas being interrupted. And is Art of Tur it looks like there's plenty of Mutals to go ahead. Even on, like, not even spotting command, they're going to go ahead and engage this. Shuttle now has speed. It looks like Arter Turtle sees it. He can just leave these Mutalists attacking here. Looks like they have taken out that Dragoon. So everything kind of... Well, not everything. A lot of things going in Arter Turtle way. Additional drones being wiped out, but Arbitral still with the worker lead. The Zealot being dropped off, now working on the Spire. More Mutalisks, I assume this is more Mutalisks. We'll bring this back up. No drones being produced, but more Mutalisks in the air are going to be able to equalize this and give Arbitral the win in a very odd final match between these two. So the Reaver's gone. Let's see if that Zealot gets wiped out, and in short order, looks like these units have been drawn back up to this cannon, but with these five Mutalists and single Dragoon, plus the more Mutalists behind this, I don't think that's going to be sufficient. Jedi 1 should have GG'd by now. Second Dragoon's gone. He's still trying to produce Dragoons to try to defend this. The Zerglings attacking the Zealots. He just, I guess, refusing to give up here. The drones pocketed to the back corner. Let's see if they get resaturated. Arda Turtle maybe flabbergasted that there was no GG. Now grouping up and just trying to micro, it looks like a handful, so, so finally these the rest of these mules starting to move out. But honestly, Jedi 1 does not have a chance here. 16 workers to 4. He's still got to produce out of two bases. These This mule looks like it is going to get wiped out. But this is turning into a, a wild one, but I assume as soon as these 6 mules show up, it should be game. It's going to be a while before this probe has enough minerals to potentially even plop down a nexus and... In the meantime, Art of Turtle can keep producing Mutalisks. He's rebunched. He can just work down these Dragoons. Looks like he's still just focusing on probes. Yeah, there's GG from Jedi 1. Should have happened much, much earlier. So that'll be match. So Art of Turtle advances. Jedi 1's going to move on to the final match. We'll move on to loser's bracket from here. Kind of an odd one all the way around. But hope you guys enjoyed it nevertheless. Thank you for listening.